Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Seascape. That's me, Pradeep. Well, how cool is that? You joined your vessel and you get to know the captain who is over here is also the member of board of director of this company. So, I'm talking about Merst Line. Yes. So, I requested my captain for some few question and answer session. Well, I'm not professional in this stuff. Well, the question what I've asked, it would be really easily understandable for you and me and will be interesting. So let's get up to the captain's cabin and yes if you have any queries do let me ask on Instagram I will try to answer. So let's catch up to captain's cabin. Here we go. Hello captain good afternoon. Good afternoon Pradeep. So as I have told he is our captain Thomas. He is a sailing captain as well as member of board of director of Musk. Musk is the world largest container shipping company. So we thank our captain. He has given us time to ask some few questions. So let's get to it. Captain, on a brief, how was your journey from cadet ship to captain? Uh, I started many years ago uh, in 1992 as a tech cadet in a different company called uh, J. Lawrenson. Uh, I was there for 10 years and in 2002 I changed to Maersk for the big uh, job opportunities and career opportunities um, and in uh, 2011 I was promoted a captain. So I've been a captain for 10 years now. Okay, we will go to the next question. Can you please tell how is your normal day out at sea? I wake up 6 o'clock in the morning and the first thing I do, I go to the computer to check all the emails and start distributing them to the crew on board. And uh, then in the morning, I uh, continue with the emails and administrative uh, work. Then we also have meetings and drills during the day. And um, I also go my rounds on deck and in the engine room and try to meet as many people as possible, as many of the crew members as possible. And then in the evening, around 10 o'clock, I uh, check the emails one last time before I go to bed. So, oh, okay. in front of the computer, almost all the day. Like uh, we know, captain has the overall responsibility of the vessel. So, how do you make sure that everything is maintained as per the company standard and safety is always being followed? I try to um, ensure by checking myself, but also uh, I cannot uh, dig into every little detail. So I delegate uh, jobs to you guys, uh, to the officers and uh, I put my trust in you and uh, hope that you do everything correctly yes, and then course. I come once in a while and check on you. I cannot be everywhere but uh, I have to build my leadership uh, on trust and then a little uh, checking once in a while. We are very proud Kevin that you, we are sailing with you, it's been an honor because you are being a part of top management that is the board of directors so how does it feel like being a member of board of director of world largest shipping company it's a big honor and i feel uh, very privileged that i have the opportunity not only to sail in the vessel but also to see our company and the business from a high level uh, together with uh, our top managers and uh, the other board of directors. It gives me a totally different view of many aspects that I would never have the chance to see from a vessel perspective. So I feel like I get a better understanding of the company as a whole thing. To me it's not just the ship or the office. To me it's a whole unit that we are all a part of. Okay, so what is your specific role in uh, Board of Directors? Uh, I have the same role as the other Board of Directors, but we all have uh, various uh, competencies and my uh, 
competency is of course that I am a captain. So all the other guys in the board, they are very good at uh, financials and economy. But when it comes to safety and uh, 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 crew and uh, ships, that is where I can contribute. So that is uh, my uh, specific uh, quality. Okay, so th with this I will continue that every one of us, like our understanding to board meetings and member of board directors, they talk about financials and all like uh, millions, billions. So you being a part of like you are from a sailing background, sailor background, like you are a navigator, you are a captain. When you went into the board, did you face any challenges regarding the same? Yes, oh my God. It took a while for me to uh, comprehend and understand uh, these big numbers and, and what was going on, but I've done my best and now I've, uh, after some years, I, I think I got the point. But as I said before, my, uh, my preference and what I'm good at is what uh, comes from the sea. Yes. So, as you told earlier to us that every month the, the meeting is being held by the board of directors. So, how do you manage your tough schedule? Um, I, when poss if possible, I will uh, travel. But of course that has not been so easy with the corona pandemic. But otherwise, sometimes we have to do meetings uh, online. So, but it is possible. Okay. So. So before you were in top management, you were joining Vessel, so you know your responsibilities and all. Of course, now also you know, but did anything changes in you after being a board of directors in the team? So when you joined Vessel, anything? No, and yes, at the same time, I feel when I walk up the gangway, now I still uh, look at the ship and the crew the same way I did before and uh, I still have the same perspectives and, and trying to optimize uh, things on board as I did before. So uh, I have not changed my way of working on board just because I see some different uh, numbers. Uh, I do the same as I've always done. Okay. So we will go to our next question, Captain. In COVID times, when everything was freezed, how must manage to crew changes and all? Uh, it was very difficult, um, but uh, fortunately, our company did a lot. They did a lot of initiatives with uh, chartered airplanes and hotels for quarantine. Um, so we have managed to improve. Uh, the crewing situation so now we are um, the crew can change we can change the crew in many places Kevin anything on carbon neutral vessel as we saw a post on official handler of Instagram in mask official so anything yeah I don't know much about it I just know that uh, that is what we are aiming for uh, is it 2023? We uh, have announced that we will launch the first decarbonized uh, vessel. So that's very exciting how that is going to be. I don't know anything else. Okay. So, regardless of the nationality and all, for newbies who are planning to join this profession, what would you like to advise them? I would just say go for it. And even though it's very hard, um, even maybe to get a job or to get a cadet ship, don't give up, just continue trying. And uh, it's a very uh, interesting job and uh, very good career opportunities. So uh, I can really recommend just uh, keep on trying. You are also a good example yourself. Thank you, Captain. Yes. So, lastly, Captain, you have a huge fan following on social media. So, any special message for them? I'd just like to use the opportunity to say thank you to all my followers for all the nice uh, comments and support that I get every day. It's uh, nice to know that you have so many, that I have so many friends out there. I feel very uh, lucky to have that. Okay, Captain. Now I have finished with all my questions. With your permission, I would like to add something. Yes, of course. Thank you, Captain. 
captain we thank you and all the distinguished board member because you somewhere and all the distinguished board member are sitting in the top management they are taking decision and that's why we feel lucky i don't know this video they they are going to see or not but anyways we thank all of you because of the top management we are happy in must and also i thank to the official handler of instagram and so that's it for now captain thank you very yeah. much for giving your time just remember we all do it together yes captain yes thank you very much